Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be replacing a low oil pressure sensor on a Toyota Camry. This is going to be our personal 2002 Toyota Camry that I'm working on. Uh, these sensors are kind of hard to find, even see, so I'll show you what I uh, had to take off to get to ours and uh, what I had to do to replace it. It's really not that difficult to do. Uh, if you're getting a low oil pressure light on your gauge, it's going to be red more than likely. Um, and if you do get that light on, you need to pull over and make sure that you have oil in the car. Also consider that you've got the right grade of oil. After that, probably going to be looking at one of these sensors and making sure that the sensor is actually working. So uh, stick around. I'll show you today how I replaced mine. Getting to the oil pressure sensor, I'm going to have to take off the drive belt here. Oil pressure sensor is way under here in the block. If I'm going underneath the belt here, I really can't even touch it, but uh, you can kind of see where my finger's wiggling there. That's where the sensor is at. So let's go ahead and try to take this belt off so we can get to it a little bit easier. Uh, before loosening or taking the belt off, make sure that you know how tight it already is so you can have an idea of how you're going to put it back on or, or re-tighten it when you do. To loosen that drive belt, uh, I'm going to take a 14 millimeter socket here, go down to the pivot bolt right here on the alternator, loosen that. Okay, next. This is the adjustment bolt that uh, tightens um, or loosens the alternator. Um, right under that is another bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen that up. Now down at the bottom of the alternator, um, below the adjustment bolt here, got a 12 millimeter socket you can see my wrench is already on uh, that bolt there I believe that is called the pinch bolt so I'm just gonna loosen that and that should allow us to uh, adjust okay now I can use the 12 millimeter on the adjustment screw and just do it by hand belt's getting really loose here. Could probably take it off the pulley and just a little bit here. Um, before doing that, make sure that you know the configuration of your belt so you'll be able to put it back on. After loosening the adjustment bolt enough, it's able to push the alternator down by hand. Maybe a few taps with the rubber mallet, just gently. Um, and once I got it down far enough, I can now just take the belt off. And in my case, I'm just going to leave it hanging there because all I want to do is get to that uh, sensor. Okay, there's a brace right here. And I'm going to take that off. It's a 14 millimeter bolts two of them. This will make it easier to get my hand in there. I tried to get my hand in there uh, with this on. Could not get the connector off. So we're going to take this off. Okay, you can see the wire right here. It's a it's a one wire right here. I could get my hand on the connector. I just can't push. <clears throat> 
a little part of it to to squeeze it off so um, I'm gonna keep working on it but uh it's probably the, the most clearance we're gonna be able to get in there so making some progress now took a little break and uh, came back right there's the wire Finally able to push the tab in. Went in and pushed it in with my right hand, but I really couldn't get a grip on it, so I left it pushed in, uh, or didn't didn't snap back, and then reached in and grabbed it. With my left hand here. There it is, the one wire connector. Try to take a close look and see if everything's okay with the connector and the wire. Seems seems to be in good shape just by looking at it. So uh, now I'm going to try to get a deep socket on that. I believe it is a. Uh, well, I'm not sure yet. 22 maybe. 22 millimeter. We find out here. As far as the socket goes to take off the oil pressure sensor, I've got a uh, deep socket one and one sixteenth inch here. So, uh, oh, it's also a half inch drive. It's really good on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take it off here. All right, so I think I'm gonna be able to get it off with my hand now. Okay, I didn't have any oil come out. Kind of surprised about that. So uh, that is the old one here. Now this is, uh, again, this is the one and one sixteenth inch. And the new one is actually a 24 millimeter. So I don't know if this is um, original part, OEM part, Toyota part. But uh, when ordering a new one, all I could find was a 24 millimeter. So let's see if they match up here. So here's the new one here. The old one, the... Uh, Connectors match up. Everything looks good. It's just different threads, or di I'm sorry, different uh, different size socket. We've got the 24 millimeter, and we've got the one and one sixteenth inch. Uh, this is a uh, this new one is a Duralast. This is like $13.99, I believe. Probably gonna put some Teflon tape on the threads here. Uh, a little concerned that I didn't have any oil leaking out. That's really not a good sign. You can see some glimmering in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping it's not so sludged up that uh, it's not even reaching this, the sensor here. Uh, all indications my oil oil look good, but um, you know I really don't know what's in there other than just looking at the dipstick and changing the oil every now and then. Uh, 
I do change it every 3,000 miles so you know I got the car with like a hundred and thirty something miles on it so um, I haven't put that many miles I've put like maybe 30,000 on it so anyway hopefully uh, this will work out and the car can keep running for a while all right so Teflon tapes though on the uh, threads let's go in it's all about feeling can't see anything in there All right, got a good start on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and get, grab the 24 millimeter socket this time. All right, that's about as far as I can hand tighten it. Unfortunately, I don't have a ratchet for these half drives, so I just kind of have to tighten a little bit, take my wrench out, replace it, and tighten it again. So, uh, you know, not going to watch that, but uh, I'll get right back with you when I get it tightened, and then we'll put the uh, connector on and see if it uh, clips in place. Okay, sensor is now tightened down, and I made sure that I tightened it in a position so that when I do put that connector on I'll be able to use my thumb comfortably to push down on it. Last time it was like way over here on the side and I couldn't really get my thumb. I had to use my finger, uh, my right hand finger. I can't remember exactly but it was, uh, it was really awkward to get to. So this time the tab is going to be straight up. I think you're going to be able to see it but uh, you can probably listen for this. tab is going to be straight up for my thumb. Alright, let me make sure that see the tab there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to rotate it just a little more. Right. So you just saw it, I hope, uh great connector the one wire there snapped on you really can't see it from up here but uh yeah that's it replacing a uh, old pressure sensor switch uh, 2002 B6 Camry 3.0 this is the uh, 1MZ FE engine um, I guess that'll be it Thanks for watching. Till next time, have a great day out there. Take care.